Hello, I'm Leszek Teszka, I work in the Department of Logistics of the University of Gdańsk and I would like to present you the webinar entitled How to Archivate Students from Games Using Wordwall. This webinar is realized in the frames of Incompatible Erasmus Plus project. To use the application, we go to wordwall.net it will be in English uh, and we can log in using our Google account. Uh, in free version we have pretty large set of different activities that we can see here when we press create activity. Games and quizzes created in Wordwall are excellent tools for motivating students to learn new, how new material to learn how new material can be consolidated and the skills that are already acquired. For the purposes of this webinar, well, let's assume that we want to play a game for which students will revise and consolidate their knowledge from previous classes in order to develop it during current class. As we see, the templates are, can be sorted uh, by most popular or alphabetical order. We'll take matching pairs and then in the box activity title we can put the name of our game, let's say 5R principle. We can also add a short instruction of the game that we can see here and choose whether our game should be pair of identical items or pairs of different items. I'll take the second possibility and then we have to fulfill the content. Let's say write resources as the first one and write resources. Uh, it will be organically grown bananas. Uh, the second write quantity let's say and the second uh, part of this uh, pair will be 20 feet container. I will add also the other one and let's say right place and right, right place can be the city Gdańsk our terminal and so on. And when our game is ready we can press done button to confirm it. Uh, here we can also uh, change the template. As we see, we have quite large set of ready templates like, like game show, like random cards, random wheel and so on. Also we have to choose different uh, them like jungle, like clouds, space and so on. As we can see, we can also uh, choose different options for timer and for leaderboard. In order to use the game in the classroom, we need, we need to share it with students. That's why we press button share and we can generate the link. We can generate QR code or also the part of code that can be the part of our game of, or our Moodle course. Student can start the game by using link received in this way. It is also worth mentioning that they don't have to log in to their accounts, even Google, Google accounts. They just put their names or the nicknames when they finish the, the game. When the game is over, we can observe the results on previously mentioned leaderboard. As we see, we have the names of students and also the time that they did entire game. Another way to activate students to the classes with Wordwall can be using random wheel. So we press create activity 
and we can we can see here random wheel suppose that we want to repeat the material from the previous classes through a series of short questions and answers and would like to ensure that the questions and also the students will answer randomly when we have chosen the random wheel we can again uh, give the title let's say questions and put different questions connected to our previous material definition of logistics process logistics system and so on i think that three uh, will be enough uh, just to present the, the tool when we did it we press again done button and actually our random wheel uh, is ready the second that can be prepared by us uh, can be the random wheel with names of students who will choose uh, to answer the questions so again we press create activity again random wheel the title of activity will be names of students and as the content we can give some examples of students let's say Magdalena, Olga and Adam and again we press done button when we prepared both uh, random wheels we can start using them we can use one of them let's say with names of students or questions just pressing start or we can also uh, take both random wheels in two separate cards of our browser so that's why we have to log in and then again the work wall the first is with the names of students the second will be with questions and for example we can choose one of the of our three students let's say Olga to answer the question again spin the random wheel and Olga will define our logistics pro process to sum it up in my opinion learning through participation in a game is associated with rather funded obligation and the possibility of comparing the results of students is an additional advantage thank you